Alrighty, Doc. Tell it to us straight. How's me referendum looking? Not good, Anthony. I don't think it's gonna make it. Oh, no, really? Every test we do, it just keeps getting worse. Look at these latest poll results. I'm sorry to say I can't see it living beyond this weekend. Nah, come on, it could still pull through. While I admire your unfounded confidence, Albo, I don't think it's gonna bring it back. Well, what if we go out there and talk about it? Me, Noel, Marsha, surely that'll help. No, 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 every time you speak about it, you just make it worse. Oh, well, there must be something we can do. I'm afraid all you can do now is pray for a miracle. Or you could use this time to examine how exactly this happened. And more importantly, who's to blame? Okay. Guess I'll go pray for a miracle then. Woohoo! Almost here, boys! Ah! Get out of here! Sheesh! Sorry. Dear Almighty Bob, please give me guidance. Please, Almighty Bob. Yeah, g'day mate. You rang? The ghost of Bob Hawk? As summoned? Now what do you want? It's me referendum, Bob. It's dying. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, you're a Labour legend. You've got to have some advice for me. Yeah, don't bloody bother. <laughs> I tried to get six of them up. Couldn't even get one. You must have been proposing some pretty controversial change. Not really. Enshrining a right to trial by jury, freedom of religion, free and fair elections. Bloody layups, mate. Bugger them all. Oh, I said my referendum is doomed. Chances are it's buggered, mate. You didn't spend too much coin on it, did you? Oh, nah. Only about 364 million. Oh, well, all right. Let's, let's go over the basics. You got bipartisan support, right? Uh, no, I refuse to even try. Well, what are people saying about the draft legislation then? I haven't released any draft legislation. Oh, boy. Well, obviously, you've been up front about what the model will look like. Uh, not exactly. So what are you doing then? I'm trying to unite the country, Bob. I've tried everything. Emotionally manipulative advertising, celebrity endorsements. We even use the same colour purple on our campaign material as the official AEC signs at polling stations. But it's no use. Everyone's going to vote no. And we're going to close the door on Indigenous people forever. Let me show you something. Beautiful, eh? Sometimes I come up here and sink tins and just marvel at her. Whoa! You reckon the door's closed, huh? 55% of the country's under native title. There's 11 indigenous members of federal parliament. And we got billions of dollars every year aimed at eradicating any disadvantage in the lives of our indigenous people. From up here, looks to me like that door's wide open. Always was, always will be. You don't understand, Bob. If, if people vote no, the country will be divided forever. You want to see true division? Take a look over there. You see? We're so bloody lucky. This is the greatest country on earth. Now why don't we keep it that way? For all Australians. Yeah, I guess you're right. But what's that noise? Oh, for Bob's sake! Get out of here! Well, there you have it. Now, from one spirit to another, I'm excited to announce that we've brought back the One Nation Christmas Gin. It's a great way to get into the Christmas spirit and also support the cartoon series. And what a drop. You know me, I can tip them in. But even I like to savour this one. And let me tell you this, anyone that doesn't buy a bottle is a bloody bum. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Authorised by D. Huxium for Pauline Hansen's One Nation Brisbane.